All I've been doing is buying PRC, so it's hilarious. I feel like I haven't bought enough. That's all I've been oh, doing. The, like the PRCs, <laughs> like like the P sheet or P die, things like that. Yes, yeah, the copy, the copy maxi. So which which copies like so other than obviously like we know P die is like the number one probably. Mm. Like what what would you say would be like your number two? Oh man, it would have been rap Bitcoin, <laughs> but it still is, I suppose. P rap Bitcoin. I still fully believe in, even though I'm seeing negative posts come from Carol. Um, because she's diving into that two eight two eight two two wallet. Uh huh. Still, it's, it's still gonna be number two. You know, the, the community didn't bat an eye. They spent like a day, maybe half a day, like coming up with coping mechanisms for what Richard said. <laughs> but they were pretty good. Like, and then and then what, what's pin? <laughs> But you know, he's, he he did say like the, the better choices would be ones that don't inflate. Obviously, the ones that are inflating still, like nobody's backing, um, and it's been a long time. So th they're so speculative now. Like before, we didn't know if anyone was going to jump on or what was going to happen. And and I mean, for a long term play, keeping some of those might might work out because if all Shane gets popular. Some other dev, like Richard said this himself, so like some poor hungry dev is going to like fill in the gaps. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be I'll be honest with everybody. Like I got flooded out of my WBTC bag after Richard's <laughs> <laughs> video. <laughs> well, at least you sold higher, unless you wait it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't do that well, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, was, I was really, I was really nervous. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, but anyways, I mean, yeah. So I mean, it's like it's, it's looking, it's it's like where I'm, it's it's at where kind of like I sold it at honestly right now. So I could probably buy okay. back in right now if I wanted to. Um, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't really fight. lose a lot of money. I didn't really lose a lot because I, I did I think I bought it at like seventy two or seventy five dollars. So I did lose some, but not not like a ton. I mean I made a bunch off that shit dude, but then when I went up to one sixty and then I sold because I knew it was gonna go back down that time. I fucking bought back in as it was going down and lost thousands, thousands, ridiculous amounts of money. <laughs> Just so sure of it. And then Richard did what he did. Okay, Richie. I get it. So the thing that, that Carol said, I, I don't know if what I remember she was shared anyway. But he, he fucking was going on about. Uh, well, he doesn't know if it was Richard, but somebody with high maker DAO governance, and, and that's one of the reasons why we're like, he died, and somebody had to have done that, right? Made an inflating coin turn into a non-inflating coin. <laughs> it was just like nobody was watching. It was intense. It still could happen again. It's still. Like, uh, like, I know Chainlink's not inflating, but I think like, one day that they could just come online on Pulse Chain and all these things that rely on it that are copied over will be fixed instantly, hopefully. Some people say that's not the case, but maybe that's just with yeah. like. I don't know if that would work for Dai, though, like at least P Dai, no, because the Maker no. DAO, the, the contract has been changed back in July. So I think that's. And I think it's a good thing that it's like a kind of like a broken contract now because now we have the die and we can, you know, there right. there can be other protocols and ways to kind of stabilize it later on. It doesn't necessarily have to be the the original die contract or maker contract or anything like that. Speaking of in creating other things for creating things for other coins, one of our guys in the PLUSD group is desperately trying to find a way to stop the minting, but it has come up with like it's been focusing on fetch. Right, and so with, like basically, when you get the fetch coins, whenever that happens, and, and the public has coins, and then, then you can set up a, a price, feed. and then you can direct it at a, an app that you work slash build, and then load it with whatever token you need to, and, and then it, that will report to the blockchain, the Pulse Chain blockchain, that it's one dollar. Um, but then there'll be the other coins that are out there, and that'll be arbitrage. That was the guy's thinking. I don't know how that's going to play out. Interesting. Interesting path. 
So that's the the P L U S D. I think I somebody told me like a long time ago to like buy like fifteen dollars worth or something. I think I have like I think I have like six hundred million or something for fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, fuck for fifty. Yeah, you would have had you would have had half a bill. Yeah, that's Dave. He always says just buy ten bucks, ten bucks of everything. That's his game. And if he really likes it, he buys thirty five bucks. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I locked. Yeah. I locked up two billion with time pays, and, and I set it out till twenty thirty nine. So, like, whenever that drip is able to start after the one percent, I'm going to start it. And if that ever becomes something that I won't, I won't have sold it, and it'll just be money pouring out. So right. Oh, I don't yeah, that's actually kind of smart. So, how does the, how does that work? Yeah. That time pays me. It's like there's a drip that occurs or something. It can be, or you can do a hard lock or a custom. I'm not really sure how to do that one, but I think it's the first option. And uh, yeah, it's just one percent, like whatever time you said, it's one percent, and then then the drip can start. So you go on and start it if you want to. That's actually a really good idea. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that with yeah. my P die. <laughs> yeah, you totally, you totally should pick a better date than I did, or whatever. Really, who knows? Who knows what'll fuck. Well, yeah, so Maria, I mean, obviously she doesn't know everything, but she, we were like, oh, you know, what do you think is like a t- timeline for a dollar, you know, P-Dye? And she said three years. Yeah. We'll be around so, in three years. I mean, yeah, yeah, totally. So, I mean, I mean, I'm, I, would, I could lock up some P-Dye for a couple of years and just see what happens later on. I mean, if it all works out to plan, I mean, we should have a stable dollar, so. Yeah. I think you just start to drip and it'll be good anyway. You just, you. You'll probably be able to take loans out against it at that point. Like, who knows? Even your yeah, no. stuff. Or you could just sell it OTC anyway. If, if all things work out, which they should, because I mean, we're, we're pretty much winning at this point. Although we, we still, we're coming, like, we got new guys that are coming in through, because of a trope, they're coming in. And they're, they're telling me that they're running into these, the hate wall. <laughs> When they try to onboard someone, they're like, oh, we don't trust Richard, or this and that. It's the same fucking thing over and over. People need to shut up about that shit. <laughs> yeah. So we somebody just made enough. a comment. Somebody just yeah. posted a comment down below in the, in the space, and they said, <laughs> NBA is going back over $1,000. Do you, do you know anything about the NBA token? No, tell me. So NBA token was one of the tokens created by Maria. Um, the ticker symbol yeah. is NBA TM and the name of the ticker name of the token is called basketball. Um, and so, yeah, it did go, it did have a pretty crazy run up, up to, I think it looks like uh, $1,300 maybe. It started, looks like it started around like $30. Yeah. So it did pretty well, but now it's down, it's back to like 300 so maybe a 10x from where it started and pretty well down from the top. So I, I actually did buy some earlier today uh, because Maria in the Atropa chat told everybody to buy NBA today. So I went and did that after she said so. <laughs> That's just pretty smart. Can't fade what she says that the time. Since you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> half the time, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the other half the time, you're like, shit, why did I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's been, it's been an insane ride, and she keeps making it funner. It's funner and funner each time I look at it. <laughs> yeah, another reason why, why I think that the NBA token can do well is because, like, uh, like the teddy bear, like the BFF, it has, like, a good memeable name and ticker symbol. So NBA, I mean, people really relate to that all across the world. Um, you know, there's, like, crazy huge fans of basketball. Um, so that could be, like, something in the future where people are looking at coins to purchase on Pulse Chain, and they're like, oh, my gosh, NBA TM, like, that looks cool, like... Um, so I just think that people may buy it just off the name alone. And then the second reason would be because there's actually a large community associated with NBA already. Um, not necessarily large like Teddy Bear or P-Dye or anything like that, but large in terms of like the, you know, the obscure, you know, weird tokens that Maria's created. Um, this one's yeah. actually being supported by one of the biggest whales in PSFI. Uh, he's the one that created the most of the NBA pools. Um, so it does seem like they're you know, doing 
doing what Maria wants them to do, at least, especially getting that shout out um, say from Maria, you know, telling people to buy BFF right. or sorry, buy NBA. Cause normally she doesn't tell people to go out and buy these six, six, six tokens. Cause she doesn't really hold any, but um, you know, like the ones that like, obviously she like creates, you know, freak, she creates new ones frequently. Like she just created like three different ones yesterday. Um, I didn't buy any of those. Um, yeah, there's one that she made like a few days ago called like cocaine or something. There's one with like a, a rainbow symbol, like just all these weird <laughs> oh, yeah. tokens. I did like, you know, fucking sunny. I, I see you there. You, you just like, thank God for you guys um, doing your thing. It was like, we're all together. It just made this thing explode. I still remember, I just remember the first day right when he came in. And he had to like come in. He had to stop us from speculating so much. <laughs> yeah. What's that up, Sonny? So How are you doing? Bad. Just uh, up, shout out to you, Zach. Saw that you gave some of that PRS over to the uh, Forever Wallet there for the gas and whatnot. Fucking appreciate you, brother. Good work. Yeah, man. Anything I can do to help you? I had plans to do similar, but I don't have the uh, I don't have an actual pulse rewarding token, so. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, bro. How you yeah. doing? Today Bang, looking pretty good. What's up with this NBA, Sonny? Why, why is she telling everybody to come out and buy NBA right now? You know? I mean, 404 kind of just goes around the room and says, buy this, buy that. <laughs> I don't know if there's any specific reason <laughs> for this one or not, but... Heck of a swing. Heck of a swing. Yeah, right. Looks like a great buy opportunity, so I took it. Yeah, definitely. I've been uh, just swinging it back and forth with no nukes. That's probably why she wants to create that layer two where she can ban certain addresses. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll be all right. I hope so. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know. Oh my God, that, how terrible would that be, Sonny? Like you've been like such a huge support, you know. Like your wallet should not be banned. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's actually good to know there is no, no one. There's no blacklist, right? Like no one even can. But like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, right? In layer two, maybe you can stop people from doing shit. But for now. Brutal. Yeah, so we got a new speaker up on the stage. We'll say hello to Jesus. What's going on, Jesus? Are you with us? Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just right here hanging out with my daughter. I'm actually trying to help her, see if she wants to take a nap here soon. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, uh, I want to thank you, Zach. I'm the Infinity Dev. I'm OG Web Chef on the IRC. And I just wanted to come up and say hi to you guys. And also thank you personally for, you know, seeing the vision and, and uh, yeah, man, that that's pretty crazy. We're we got this bot just putting constant buy pressure on BFF, and it's uh, that's where it started, you know. And um, just love for BFF, and we're pushing strong. Yep. Now we got this uh, this new token you created, right? Your OG Web Chef eighty eight 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 token. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rewarding people with BFF and no nukes, right? Which is like the main pairing for BFF. So yeah, that's really cool. And I know that you guys are, you kind of like created that to like help fund Maria or something like that. It was like some, something to like help assist her with something. So the BFF buyback bot is set up to just, you know, keep sending no nukes, uh, actually using no nukes to buy BFF. And then it sends it directly to the 414 wallet. And, you know, we made infinity to, with the thought, you know, we wanted to make sure that Maria was on board. The community brought it up and, we worked together and, and I had a, you know, uh, a private discussion with Maria and she's like, whatever you're wanting to pursue, just go for it. She gave me the go ahead. Um, no. And yeah, it's just, we went from there, but the whole intention was, you know, how do we make it so where we're going to keep funding the liquidity or the BFF that's going to be used for liquidity? Cause I know that Maria, uh, Maria has like a hundred something tokens in mind. So anything that the BFF buy back, buy, buy back bought, um, funds or is funding the 414 wallet that's going to be used for liquidity as well to kind of offset some of the sell pressure that's going to happen at AK. 
Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's all super, super awesome. I'm glad that we can all like work together and collaborate on this to like make some cool stuff happen. So yeah, definitely a big shout out to you to making that bot. Um, the Infinity Token, obviously, it's done super, super well. I think just the other day, I think it went up like 500% or something. Am I wrong? That, that was pretty nuts. Yeah, it's been yeah, and shout out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really well done. Sonny, we say that one more time. You guys are both going at the same time. Uh, just shout out for putting that together, man. That's really, it's really well done. Yes, sir. That's what we're here for. Anything else on the pulse chain? What do you got? What anything else you guys are looking at? that I should be looking at. Uh, I've got a list here of stuff that I, I pay attention to, but I know I'm always missing something. So hard to say what's going to moon next. When I, when I take a look at the the greater like uh, sentiment of all our little groups that we have, I mean, some groups have fucking moved to soul. <laughs> it's actually funny. Uh, you know, you got that was a, a, a tango call guy. It's like you notice these guys and all, are in, they're in your groups anyway, but they're like the first on almost everything. They're like dedicated demons. Yeah, I like these pulse chain exclusive things, man. Like, what just, is it? Just something about fighting the good. The, just the, the fighting the good fight to bring, to bring in the East guys. It's just like every anytime anyone's ever trying to do that, it's like something I want to want to get on board with. And what, which token were you talking about that was doing that? It's just the the one. Oh yeah, we're talking about the one we're doing. But I'm not really. Uh, it's just a Numerian guy that launched PVI, but it just made all us PDI guys came back together. So it's been like it's been like a crazy reunion over the last couple of days. The biggest, the biggest thing is fucking all these guys sitting around talking again after, you know, we were sitting around talking, buying PRCs, and then fucking guy dropped all that fucking info over P die. Just everyone went nuts. Then fucking Maria came, and everybody lost their way. It was just really nice to see everyone come back together. Yeah, no, totally. The TBI token, Teddy Bear Inu, that's been doing pretty well. I did buy some of that. A little, a little late, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's too late. Still under 400k market yeah. cap. And anything under a million it market cap right now is pretty good. Oh yeah, strong. That was yeah. just like a random thing too. Like I wasn't, you didn't even tell me that it was a coin to buy. You just dropped it from like the LUSD group and said, "Yeah, I'm launching. I might launch this tonight." I'm like, "I'm not fucking home." And I wasn't even home when he launched. And the first one he launched, the 210 one. I didn't even buy that yet. And he's like texting me like, are you buying this? Like, you're the one buying all this up? You got 30 cents? I'm like, no. What are you doing? I wasn't even there. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't watch the, the Teddy Bear Union one. That's what the, I bought that one. The, the guy that made TBI made a different one? Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, he, he like, he didn't even, it was like a stealth launch deal. He was, he would, he didn't even tell me. And like, he was the one he was telling. And then, like our our other P P die guy, like admin guys, that they they like kind of supported him, which was awesome. But then all our guys were together, and then and then like the main guys, they just like I thought it was a good idea. I mean, if you really think about it, it's <laughs> B Roots doesn't think it's a good idea, but that little reaction of his was fucking hilarious. You told the people to go out and make fucking mean coins. That weren't Richard fucking specific meme coins. Just people are just following your direction. I think it just, they just didn't like because it, it was Teddy Bear and you know, that's one of their you know, perceived as a competitor, but it's not. It doesn't have to be. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> this is a this is a casino we're in, guys. Like, this is a, there's going to be lots of crazy, weird things going on, and it's, things are going to pump without any reason. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of uh, I, what I when I think about when I'm going to buy, it's like, is there is there a good name to it? Is there a community behind it? Um, is there enough liquidity where I can 
at least buy some and sell some in small amounts at least <laughs> um i'm not too like i'm not too i'm not too stressing on like the whole lp stuff a lot of people are like oh my god why are all these people buying these like low lp tokens um you know but you know, with 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 every buy right the liquidity oh, yeah. grows you know it's not like it just stays low forever people can add and all these things so it's you know some of these tokens start with low lp but it's i guess this could just be a, just a deterrent for a lot of people i think it's some of the best times to buy a token was when it just launches and the lp is low you can get fucking fat fat percentages of the supply mm. <laughs> oh, Dude, yeah, and and Jesus yo Christ. there's something that sunny there's something that sunny said too like something about swinging um yo yeah. you can swing lps like you do not have to sell yeah. the chart like it's so 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 simple because it's an evil even playing field on post chain. So like you since you have a greater chance of getting a better percentage, especially with the fees. So the percentages is just for make you know how much you get of the fee. Uh, but aside from that, when the price goes up, you can just offload into pulse or into whatever you value more. And I don't understand how people don't really see that yet. You know because on on the Ethereum side, like there was a lot of people that wouldn't tell you about LPs because it would only be two people or three people in the LP supporting the whole thing while you guys are all trading back and forth and they're just earning off of the swap fees. But here it's an even playing field. And I think that's something that Richard Hart also tried to, you know, come across. But that, that swinging LP, um, knowing, you know, getting in, Getting in low, getting in hot, getting out high, you can always get your post back without selling the chart. And then you could take that post back and then go buy more. And then you're just buying at the top, so you just push it more up. So you support the ecosystem at the same time. So because you, you're already making it back in your fees. So it's a um it's a something to learn about. But um he has to say something about swinging and it's interesting to that no one's talking about it. Yeah, that's a big one, man. Sonny definitely has taught uh, taught a lot of us that sort of stuff at the, at the exact right time, which was awesome. And not like we and it would be a great like thing to spread constantly. I know, I know, uh, you guys in HOA, you guys just do that religiously. It's just so like you're just you guys got it on point for that sort of shit. Uh, definitely, well, definitely it's, not just, it's not just HOA. It's not just HOA. I, I mean, no. I, I'm no. not. I'm. I'm everywhere. So like, it's it's something that everyone needs to oh, realize. It's not about like, oh, who's doing it more than that. But it's um. I think it's something that dawned upon most of the people over there, and same same as most of the hexagons, same as most of the people coming in from like other chains. They're saying that the yield opportunities here are more greater than the trading opportunities. So, I mean, that's just, that's just my opinion. But I mean, this is what I see. I've been seeing it since the start, but um, especially with the ink farm in the beginning. And then now, like, you know, you have other farms, but you don't even need farms. You don't even need farms here. You could just provide LP and earn. And then you got V3 where you can actually collect the fees without exiting your LP position. So just things that are out here that needs to be touched on. 100%. Thank you for joining the station. Dude, you, dude, I was actually, uh, Jesus, I was actually trying to ask about that bot because uh, it was interesting to, um, to maybe like utilize that same thing because I was trying to, uh, I was talking to uh, Hoddle and them and I was trying to maybe do a pairing with, uh, you know, Teddy and Duck. So, you know, because those were the two um, Louis Vuitton uh, plush stuff that he had. Uh, next to each other, and um, yo, and and I was gonna integrate something, maybe something of that nature, uh, with the Atropa ecosystem, and just not just a Atropa ecosystem, but the whole Pulse ecosystem, and uh, find ways to get that going, um, maybe for all ecosystems in general, because that bot that bot situation is is actually you could be use, useful for not just this community but all. So just to drop a gem real quick, it's it's really just interacting with the router. And the main easiest way to go about it is to use either Python or Node.js. But, you know, it's technical. But really, the script that I have going on is just a matter of choosing the right function that interacts with the router. 
Sorry about my daughter in the background. But uh, but yeah, it's just it's just about interacting with the router and um, choosing the right function and the router. All right, yeah, I mean, dude, if you're down, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm down to like do maybe a collab and we can figure something out. Uh, I'll DM you. I just uh, hit you up. Cool. All right. Well, I just want to say thanks for everybody for joining the space here. If you're just joining, uh, please share the space out. We want to try to get as many people in here as possible. There's a bottom right hand corner button. It's purple. You can click that. Then you can click the share button. You can share this space out with all your friends and we can bring them in here. We're going to talk about a bunch of different projects in here today. Uh, we've already went over a few NBA, TBI, Infinity Token, BFF. BFF is absolutely fucking crushing it right now, guys. And it's almost back to $6,000. $59.77 right now. I think we're going to get, we're going to hit another all time high tonight, probably. And, this is just absolutely insane. <laughs> are you really gonna wait? Are you really gonna wait till it's like a hundred k or? Like, uh, so personally, <laughs> I, I have a I have a really fat bag of BFF, and I'm very very lucky to to say that. But um, I mean, I've taken like tiny little profits. Like so, when it get like hits like an all time high, I'll take like a point one, you know, away from my stack. But I'm really saving it. Um, I definitely think it's going way way higher than eight thousand. Maria gave our that she gave us like our second price target the other day of 40k um and then i made a post afterwards you know giving my kind of wow. prediction i think we may hit another 5k after the 40k so 200,000 is going to be my price target i'll probably take <laughs> profits on the way up to that um but i will definitely hold up hold up so how many how, how many times have she predicted and it hit well the first prediction is um, going to probably yeah. in the next couple of days Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just just starting. Okay, for for that for that token, but other tokens that she's called, like every time she says buy something, is there any other any time that it just dumped when she said buy? I don't think so. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, of course, it's not gonna dump at a little... buy. Yeah, that's interesting though. Yeah, no, dude, I def we definitely been following that shit and. That's crazy to see, like the the whole ecosystem go, you know, where it's getting to and how it's growing. Uh, but it, it's cool to see you know, what what's gonna bring. Yeah, so BFF's yeah, like fun. the biggest experiment on Pulse Chain right now. I would say um, this is like like a huge speculation and a big like question mark. Will it get to these price targets? Will the people who are holding the most of the tokens will they hold? and not sell their tokens and dump the price down, right? So this is just, this is an experiment to see how the top 10 wallets probably are going to be, you know, interacting with BFF and holding um, and, and doing what Maria wants us to do, right? So we're pretty much just like kind of watching and waiting for her to be like, okay, like, let's add LP, let's go burn LP, like, let's do this, let's do that, hold, buy. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what she's saying and I'm trying to like, I mean, make sure that, you know, this token is successful in any way that I can. Um, so but just in so because like, you guys were gonna go ahead, you were gonna add, um, at, at 8k, you were gonna add a bunch of LP for different coins. Is that sort of a game plan still? Yeah, so Maria's basically told people that you know, at eight thousand dollars is a point where we want to try to create like a new price floor, and by doing that, she's gonna basically be pairing over a hundred of her BFF tokens at eight thousand dollars a piece, right? So about eight hundred thousand dollars in liquidity on the bff side to multiple other tokens throughout the ecosystem and she said in doing this you know she wants us to do it too right that any of the people who are basically whales in bff she said you know find tokens that are that are really high quality tokens and pair your bff to them she's going to personally pair hers up with uh bear i know that was one of the ones that she chose um she said that she would be pumping the bear token with her bff as well um, so yeah, there's there's definitely going to be a bunch of a bunch of different tokens that are going to get pumped. I know a lot of the the piece stables are going to be some of the main pairings with BFF as well. Um, and as those rise in price, mm -hmm. those are going to actually be dragging BFF up up in price as well with those. Um, so if we're thinking of a dollar 
you know, peace stable coin um, and how many X's it takes to get there. Just think of the price appreciation to the tokens that are heavily, heavily paired with those. Yo, you should, yeah. you should guys yeah. tell her to, go, I will send Duck to her 414 and she should pair up with Teddy. I'll do the same and she burns it, I'll burn it. Let's do it. Get in oh, that IRC, bro. Early. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll send us Melo. I'll send you the info if you don't already have it. No, um, I actually there's been people in the lobby that be sending updates about that. So like, I, I don't even have to go in, but I'll, I'll definitely get in there. What do I have to say? Yeah. So, so Zach. I mean, she's psycho, man. She banned me right away. She banned you. Fuck you bro. Hey Zach, sorry. She made me because of my name. I said my name was P Die Victim, and she said no victims here. <laughs> anyway, game. Yeah. That, so, so is pairing with uh, BFF the is that the is is that the game plan then? It, it sounds like it. Yeah, BFF's getting paired with tokens all across the ecosystem. Mm. I know Maria's chosen a few. I've chosen a few for myself since I have a ton of BFF <laughs> tokens. I'm going to be using mine to pair up with like PRS, BTR things like that to help, you know, help them. It's going to help try to help the projects that I'm heavily associated with, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe they're all, you know, fantastic projects that aren't going to be going anywhere. So I think it'll just be a benefit to those as well as, you know, any of the other ones that people are, are thinking that they want to, you know, try to see succeed yeah. along with BFF. Okay, because I know that, because I'm kind of hanging out with the, with the, um, with the TBI guys at the minute and, uh, there's an open question about, you know, as we grow it, Please. you know, which are the tokens that we want to pair with? Because that's something that we all want to get involved in. So, sounds like uh, BFF, yeah. BFF would be one maybe that we would um, kind of, kind of get get linked in with. Uh, be because I know so Gabriel, yeah, you remember? Cool. <laughs> you, you remember like a few uh, like last week when I I made that huge mistake. <laughs> that really benefited the TBI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six percent, bro. Eight. eight I'll, I'll, okay, eight so, I'll, I'll let everybody know. So okay. basically, yeah. last week, last week I tried to make a, a liquidity pool uh, with TBI, and I actually just like you know moments before I made I created a coin for somebody here in Thailand, like just like a very low LP, like just for fun. It was is it's called Pablo. I don't want anybody to go buy it, but I made this Pablo token for my buddy Pablo, oh. and I just it was like as a joke. And um, so, anyways, I made that LP, and I, I was going to go burn it, right? And so I went to go burn the Pablo token LP, and I accidentally burned my TBI token LP. <laughs> So I think oh I burned like I, I burned like I forget eight, what it was like some six grand, six eight, grand yeah eight per, eight percent of the supply grand. I think was burned or something yeah. like that um a lot of a lot of money <laughs> later on I'm sure it'll it be a yeah. lot but oh, well um, the least we can do that, is that, uh, <laughs> is kind of at least pair it with BFF then as a, as a well listen <laughs> so I was gonna say so at like least, I don't. Yeah. I don't have enough tokens of TBI now to pair with one BFF. So if somebody wants to yeah, do that, we'll, they can. But I'm, I, I, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure within the team, Actually, well, there'll be somebody merit. there who's got some. Yeah. I mean, we kind of put it on the back burner because we were trying to fix everything. But we were, me and New Marion, we're already talking about like trying to help you, bro, because that's just stupid. Yeah. He has a lot <laughs> more coins. Than him, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm not like struggling. I guess you know, like people are in much worse situations than I am, so I just got to be happy for that. I guess. Yeah. We've all lost, man. Like almost all of us from like the old group has has lost at least seven grand, <laughs> at least. And like the potential, oh, don't even get me started on the potential. Yeah. Well, um, so did any? Yeah, I, I've got, <laughs> oh, go I've got some news on TBI. Uh, uh, am I allowed just to give you a few bits and pieces, Zach? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah please sure. go for it. So, oh, um, so the website uh, went live, uh, I don't know, two, three hours ago, which is a big thing for us because, as you can imagine, so, with about seven or eight of us all, all running around trying to do stuff um, and actually working pretty well together, actually, uh, but getting a website up uh, between us was, was a big deal for us. So we were all really happy about that. And uh, as a consequence, we've submitted uh, to Dex Tools as well uh, a couple of hours ago after that as well. So hopefully you should see 
a little bit more kind of activity from the from the team because they were the things that everybody's been patiently waiting uh, to, to to kind of get over the line so uh, so just just a heads up to everyone else to, to keep an eye out for that yeah that's awesome i gotta check out the website i haven't taken a look at that yet but i do know that you guys were working with some kind of graphic designers um so i'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like i know it should be looking nice yeah, yeah. Sh should be fun and and also just just one final thing um uh, one of the things we would like to do it's which is maybe a little bit different is we, we want to do a, a call out to anybody uh on, on pulse chain who's kind of creative uh in in a sense of storytelling um we're looking for storytellers we're looking for poets we're looking for musicians rappers that kind of stuff uh because we want to be seen as the place to go for the for the creative uh, kind of element of the whole ecosystem really and um, we're going to hang a lot of stuff off obviously off teddy bear inu kind of initially um i mean memes is a little bit of it we think but we'd like to kind of kind of give a space uh, to people who are kind of world builders who who want to tell stories who want to create ip who want to uh, kind of you know make music that kind of thing because actually by happenstance i think this two or three of the guys in the team are creative writers just they've been doing it for years i know we've got one musician i found out earlier as well and we've got a rapper as well already so it, it's kind of interesting how these kind of creative types just happen to get together anyway and it and it just occurred to us that maybe there is a there is a need for a space for those types of people so any artists out there any painters anybody who's kind of got that real world creative edge to them we'd, we'd really like you to get kind of get involved and kind of work work with us so um yeah, no, it's just just I just want to shout out because because often it's it's very technical this space and which is fantastic and we all love it for that, but we just want to create a space for maybe the guys who enjoy yeah other creative aspects. So that was it really. Just want to, you know, yeah. want to shout. No, that's a great idea. Uh, so I went ahead and posted the Teddy Bear Inu Telegram link up in the the top of the space here. So if anybody's interested in going into that chat, um, you know, talking to the guys in there, there's a bunch of Pete IOGs. Um, I'm I'm a part of that community as well. Um, you guys can all use that link and uh, join the TG. Yeah. Cheers, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> well, still, uh, to be honest, I didn't even I didn't even know that was happening. <laughs> News to me. Cool. I used to play the trumpet, piano, all all kinds of shit. <laughs> I just wasn't on the chat. Today. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're. It's kind of funny. Okay, well, we'll guys okay. Stuff. So, so let me get this right. You're on the trumpet. We've got a rapper. Uh, we've got somebody who can write stories. Yeah. Man, it's gonna be a crazy world. <laughs> Yeah, all right guys well we got a quick bff update we got a new all-time high six thousand two hundred and thirty dollars we are at 4.8 million market cap right now this is looking really nice guys i think you're gonna oh, that's insane yeah, that, Marie is it's crazy. really good i think you're gonna rapidly get up to eight i think it's just gonna draw it to it at this at this right now <laughs> eight yeah. minimum yeah you guys are gonna get it, obviously. Yeah, you're, you're, gonna go you're right it. there. Like the, the, you already got it. Congrats. Yeah, congrats, Jason. guys. Well done. Thanks, sir. So we got a we got a new speaker up next? here. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to hear from one new speaker here. I've been waiting for this guy to come and join me. Uh, but he drawn s'mores address. Please welcome to the stage. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing, my G? Good. Watching this NBA chart right now, looking beautiful. Oh shit! I forgot. I gotta put that back on my watch list because I just bought more. Dude, I literally <laughs> bought the bottom at like one fifty, one sixty. I was like, wow, nice. But anyways, y'all boy. The only buy bottoms. Finally, we get some BFF pump, dude. I've been waiting on this for a good like two weeks. 
<laughs> oh wow two weeks man that's so long oh yeah two weeks <laughs> hey look i was <laughs> hey, i was talking to my buddy right he was talking about how he caught like the ethereum wave when it was like 90 dollars, and i started laughing at him i'm like bro i was like i bought a token at 90 dollars, and it went to like 4800 and like in, like a week and a half and he was just like what <laughs> like no way <laughs> this shit's crazy <laughs> Dude, that's the best i was like it's maria dog it's maria Ah, nah, though, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh- shill my token, man. What's up? <laughs> hey, man, it's making moves. Yes, sir. Okay, so the breakdown for HSA is it's essentially. What's next? You said what? I think they said what's HSA. Oh, we'll just chill, just chill. We're getting there. All right, so, so essentially it's a HOA copy, right? It's the same supply. Um, I airdrop 50% to the Tang Gang. I have Spooky Burn 1%. Same thing he did with HOA. Um, just on like some novelty, just fun, was bullshit, right? Nothing serious at first. Um, and it's the Hedron S'mores address. So you have HOA, which is the Hex Orange address, Hex Origin address, right? So Hedron S'mores address is based off the Hedron Source address, um, which is basically Alex's wallet, right? Just like it's Richard's wallet. Um, and he's got a, like 40, 50% of the supply he drawn in there. Same thing with Icosa. Um, and I, I made it because it's like, you have Hex and you got Hedron, you know, they're like brothers. So to have their meme coins also be the same thing, w- w- which was cool to me. Um, and I just w- went on the AI chat, you know, made a logo in like five seconds. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Put some Hedron things in his glasses. And, uh, then I started the community kind of, well, I started a telegram like originally it was for just to make good price calls because I always do, like I would be in my room by myself and just make good price calls do great trades and don't get to tell anybody about them so uh <clears throat> so I started the telegram group to try to you know get some people in there um because I'm I was in like like four different ones trying to give everybody the alpha <laughs> and I was like this isn't working um so I made that uh gave spook 50 percent so they had a big payday the 10 game and uh, and I know the four one four and the Tang Gang like groups are like beefing, so it's I, I play like both roles on it. Um, but I definitely understand that Maria is <laughs> the Maria. Hello, hello, whoa, 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 pause there. What, what's the beef? I don't. Well, understand. not not real beef. beef. Listen, listen. It's just pretend fun beef. And but we need shit like that. Like we don't need to just all be cool, my y'all. We do need a little adversities and you know arguments and stuff like that. that that's community, right? Yeah, that's friendly cool. competition. I understand that, exactly. but. Beef is, yeah, beef is a, dip, a harsh word. When I say okay, bro, it's not I'm not on y'all's part, but you go into a ten gang space and talk about four four. They'll shit on it. They'll, they'll call Maria a scam. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. They would like, ban you in an instant, bro. Yeah, dude, it's it's gnarly, bro. And that's why I pay. I play both roles, like I say, bro, because I understand but, that the ten gang's good marketing, right? Good. But yeah, it, it gets a little toxic. Yeah, sometimes. that's been a that's been a fun little. It, it, it's been a fun meme battle it's exactly to be honest everybody knew it was just funny you know? yeah like, it's, it's hilarious exactly. like yeah, the funniest thing was when zach the posted the it was, <laughs> yeah yeah some people actually get heated but and you know that like that old guy that was going on about how like his buddy got fucked over on p die and <laughs> yes there was losers and everybody everybody knows the game yeah like that guy was dumb he wasn't gonna make it anywhere well they, they act like hoa is not gonna have <laughs> any losers it's like well <laughs> They are, you know, it's like, <laughs> but anyways, um, so that aside, bro, um, and also 414 pumps de- demolish anything that they're going to do, so, but anyways, um, so I gave Spook 50%, I made their big payday, so their big payday was supposed to be like a whole bunch of cumula- cumulative community tokens in the wallet, and they airdropped them, so I airdropped, uh, I think it was like 70 grand at the, at the time of airdrop, so these people got like $150 per wallet, which was pretty cool. Um, uh, and then after that, bro, not that even was... really, I'm, they sold, the market went down, right? So they sold a little bit, but after that, um, when the market went up, I paired HSA to, <laughs> to everything powerful, right? So I got it with Teddy, HOA, um, I had it with Crows, TSFI. I, listen, I had it with BFF at first and then Maria started tripping. I swear she was tripping on me because she called me. I know, I know the one dude said it was him, but she called me racist because of the KKK token. And then I had it, I had BFF paired with A1A, E-Die, P-Die, HSA, Teddy, 
uh like b2b like <laughs> i had it paired with literally everything <laughs> so i was like oh shit maybe i should go unpair this so i started undoing it and whatever um <laughs> but the plan for hsa is definitely bff uh liquidity probably like 20 to 40k at least um because that would be like the anchor behind the meme right so it'd have like this it, this deep liquidity pocket that it's kind of hard to find unless you look for it um so that's that's the goal for for hsa right. as far as liquidity um but I've got burned a trope pair, um, send it to Annabelle address. Um, TSFI isn't burned, but I plan on burning it soon just because uh, it's long. I was thinking it was going to hit a hundred dollars, you know, at least, at least this month, right? It was supposed to be from last year. So, um, but I'll end up burning that for like long-term growth. <clears throat> I've burned the pulse pair, I burned a hedron pair. So like it's, it's a benevolent, it's a benevolent, um, token like there's no there's no scam behind it um there is wallets with big amounts but that's because i pulled lp and we pumped it the other day um because i'm i'm, I'm getting ready for this bff 8k <laughs> right so um so it's hsa da, 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 da. so i'm on the also i'm on the time buy and burn function so the time the internet money wallet has a buy and burn function to where if you deposit your time tokens, it'll take the pulse fees and it'll buy the token and burn it whenever you trigger the sweep function. So I've got that. That actually costs a little bag. I got the community together to you know, donate money and uh, we put it on there. So it's good marketing because there's only like five tokens on there. So um, and then it's consistent buy and burn. Obviously, I got like a good good couple grand of time in there. Um, so. <laughs> Really, it's just, it started off as fun, and then I got a good couple, like, shark-type people in the um, community, and they just started aping the price up. Because, I mean, it's the same thing as HOA, right? It would be the same tokenomics, the same, all that shit. So, um, it seems a little more bullish because their community is already so massive. So, they already have, like, this, you know, this price in their head. There's a lot of people sitting on big bags, and, and they have overhead with NFTs. We're not going to have that. Like, they have to have an NFT every Friday or else they're kind of boring right so <laughs> it, so there's that there's that aspect um i will be doing an airdrop whenever v2 so the whole point with this token was to get hype around v2 for alex because alex is not a social person he uh and his projects are super cool but they're slept on because no one on, the only person that talks about it is sloth so and also i got sloth on board sloth's got a whole mm -hmm. bunch of tokens so that's like the youtuber for us um and so I'm just trying to bring a little more hype to him. I'm trying to meme him. I'm trying to bring him out. Because it, it, the thing is with HOA, Richard will never mention it, right? Like directly. But Alex would. Alex would mention. Uh, and I know he knows about it, right? <laughs> I've, I've got I've got good connection. Oh, yeah. I, I know that he knows about it. So I, oh, yeah. for him, it would oh, behoove yeah. him to market it and, and moonshot it. But I'm not, I'm not betting on that. But, you know, <laughs> could happen. Um and then for for the future right, yeah. things, I have the the last thing is just the campfire because uh, my telegram is called the campfire, right? You have s'mores, marshmallows, all that campfire, um, and it's a uh, it's a pretty good telegram chat. I don't I don't maxi out in there. Like if y'all wanted to join it, we really shoot a lot of meme calls. Like like freedom, <laughs> dude. Freedom. I had one of the top HSA holders told us all about freedom. That like, bro, like, this shit did 150x in a night in our face. Like we were all shitting ourselves. So uh, we have fun in that Telegram. It's not like, no, only talk about HSA. It's like, no, we, we, we like to explore the options. Um, uh, okay, man, how to, do you want to tweet your Telegram group out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can link it to the top. I just want to let everybody know that I am definitely a HSA holder. I'm going to be diamond handing that thing for a long time. Yes, sir. If anybody wants to hop in with me, I'll be, I'll be in that Telegram group. We can all chill, yeah. dude. I, I think will... all the airdrops that HOA yeah, them got, I think I have it somewhere sitting in a wallet somewhere. I have not even touched. So that's somewhere that's the thing too. Yeah. A lot of those wallets somewhere. are stagnant. They're not even like they have to go and find them, right? So it's like when they see price performance, they have to remember, oh shit, I have that token, and they got to go find the wallet. And, and, and all right, so there's there'll be there'll be sellers that come out of the woodworks, but that's why I want to have deep liquidity with BFF. Also, B2B is probably uh, something that I want to put deep liquidity in further into the bull so that when people want to take profits, it's, you know, you, you can. The, um, one thing I, I would do, like, I would, if AC, I would do, I wouldn't even sell. I will just provide liquidity and then, you know, run it up with you guys. And then if I want to, I could sure. just collect off my fees, right? Easy. Well, I'm, 
I'm gonna take to. what Maria said to heart, where she said, "Pair, pair your Soul, asset bro. to to BFF, and then take your asset, buy back your BFF position." All right, so it, obviously do that slowly, or else you'd wreck the price. Um, but that's what I plan on doing. So I got a good amount liquid to pair with BFF, then buy back the BFF position, and then I can use the BFF as fuel to pump the token and the and the bull euphoria and everything like that. "Quote unquote, no expectations. I don't really give a shit. This is gonna be fun, fun little <laughs> ride." Um, <laughs> it's definitely getting to a penny. That's like 10x right now. So uh, I, I plan on pulling liquidity here soon. Just mooning it. <laughs> I mean, you might. That's what you do. It. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> to, to, to go past HOA <laughs> would be awesome. Once the chart gets to a certain point, it's like you you can see. It's like when the hold when those when the holders are just holding and the sellers are gone or exhausted at a certain point. You know, you can remove that LP and just freaking skyrocket. That's oh, good. You're sure. doing. And a lot of my positions, That's I've, what we're gonna I've do. V3. I've actually V3'd out of them. So uh, I don't. I try not to ever sell. Um, if I do sell it, I like tell people, hey, I'm going to sell for this token and pair it. Boop, boop, do that. And then we start to move. Um, but the, the, yeah, so last thing is Campfire DeFi Yield Farms. So I have a dude making that for us and should be pretty cool, bro. Um, single sided staking for HSA. We're going to have a whole bunch of farms in there. So it should be a campfire. Um, you know, it'll look like a campfire. So a lot of fun things in the future, man. Oh, last thing is an ICOSA. My bad. I, it's so much stuff, bro. An ICOSA reward token that I plan on airdropping HSA holders after V2. Um, and it'll be called Synergy, right? Um, just like Alex's at name for Twitter. So I'm, try like, I'm trying to get his attention, dude. So it'll be an ICOSA reward token where it's either 2% in and 3% out to where the two percent is Icosa rewards in, and then the two percent on the way out is also Icosa rewards, and then that one percent is a burn. So you have like a deflationary incentive to, or a reward token, um, and then I'll have a I'll have a dev wallet that basically holds twenty percent, and then I'll have Tetra set up to where it'll take the Icosa rewards every two three days or whatever was it whatever significant, and half of it will go to market by HSA, pair it with the Icosa, send it in liquidity pool. Do that, do that, do that, and forever. And I'll, I'll pretty much lock that into a contract, probably, and never touch it again. So you'll have Dude, to always you can buy even add the ICOSA uh, staking to it. Like you can take that, like do like a bigger pays better uh, with the ICOSA staking. That's book five. What, what do you mean? So you know the ICOSA has single sided staking. Yeah. 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 You can print more. Oh, so I see what you're saying. You can, mm -hmm. you can, you can take some of this fees. And instead of paying it forward right in advance, uh, you can do it like a bigger pays better and then, you know, it can last longer. Okay. So take like a percentage and stake it. And then stake and it. Stake it. it. Okay. And then uh, compound it or, and then whoever's holding at that moment gets a share of their reflection right. of that. that time. If, the, if the yield is, is, is still good looking, I'll do that. But recently it hasn't really been good because you have to have auctions and stuff to run to have good yield. Um, but like I said, this V2 should bring some, some nice attention, some good things. And, and I got my logo on the deck screener and everything like that. I, I really didn't know how to, they, that it was that easy, bro. I did it in like five minutes and it, and it like added like that. And I was like, oh shit. So, and bullish narrative is I'm the youngest founder on post chain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get him! Don't hurt hey, him, crash, nice. man. Yeah. Bro, it's awesome, man. Good, good fucking yeah, pitch for real. I'm How do you? Right now. Hold on, bro. Uh, twenty. I just turned twenty. Oh. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, sir. Yeah, I've been in this long ass bear market, bro. I'm a carpenter, so I've been just working. And my boss is a hex whale, so he knows what's good. like. He knows. He knows I'm just working here to to a certain point. Um, but yeah, bear market's been brutal. <laughs> Well, congrats, mate. Well done for making it through. Sure. Well done for making it through. Yes, sir. If, if, I literally wouldn't have done it without a 414. Just, I will always say that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, No way. That's awesome. Um, I, can I just kind of mention just one quick thing about TBI? I've literally just refreshed Dex Tools. We've been accepted. We're on Dex Tools. So uh, congrats to all the TBI guys and all the effort. They're in. Hey, so it's, it's good news stories all around. Sick, well done. Dude. Fantastic. So, hey, did we talk about meth on here though? Have we talked about meth? We don't talk about no, no. What? I, I, I really haven't heard much about it. 
<laughs> Sonny's in here, motherfucker. God dang it. He's um, right meth, there. <laughs> bro, meth is a... Hold on. You I'll have be to back. introduce it as the mini Ethereum lab. It's a meth lab. <laughs> I just oh, hope man. it doesn't come bust. <laughs> it already did. It's a... Uh, I mean, if you haven't heard of it, it's... But no, uh, no, no. What is it? Same thing as A one A theory, except for instead of a one percent reflection, it's one percent payout of uh, PWF, so the equivalent of pulse. Oh right, you know, actually, I'm sorry, oh, I, I did, I, I did hear you guys talk about that before. I just didn't, I don't I seen it around too much, but I, I definitely need to go look at it because you know I love my reward tokens. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, a little over 100 something pools now, maybe 150, and there's 10. Damn. Other rewards tokens attached to it. So, like, there's one that rewards real Ethereum, real Dai, one with the uh, real Solana, real BNB. So they're just a whole bunch of. There's 11 passive income tokens there, all working together and piggybacking off of A1A and B2B. Sunny, 11. What did you do to me? Insane. This is practice. Insane. Real <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So when when are you gonna launch the one with the two hundred different pairs? Like, we want to know. <laughs> it's probably gonna be. Well, actually, it might be two hundred because I might do it V one and V two just to entice more arbitrage. But uh, I've got it worked out. Meth meth is the the from Ethereum rewards tokens, and the other one will be everything. It's not from Ethereum, so it'll be any other PRC20. Could be Teddy, could be a copy, could be whatever. It could be actually even from Ethereum. But the Meth Labs just kind of focused on uh, putting more volume on Weth, and then most of the tokens that it's rewarding, the Meth buys are actually pumping the price of those charts because the uh, liquidities are so low. So. Ultimately, I'm trying to just provide charts for Ethereum people to come over and trade. Interesting, interesting. Awesome. Yeah, man, but, you're yeah. just some crazy shit, man. I just I can't even wrap my head around it sometimes. But <laughs> well, I'm gonna go take a look at the meth lab. <laughs> BNB from Ethereum at like 450 bucks. It put all three of the stable coins it was attached to it like a dollar fifty, two dollars. Like the buy pressure on the low liquidity was enough to pump them. <laughs> yeah, I saw you. Doing that though, it's, just it's honestly a fucking just. There's not a lot of people that watch what you do, Sonny, but it's like, I feel like holy fuck, sometimes. Dude, <laughs> it's all coming together. This, the P die chart, you guys, is looking amazing. I just have to say, I just, I just switched my screen over to look at P die right now, and it is just looking incredible on the weekly. Um, a huge, huge green weekly chart going right now. It's just crazy. Yeah, P die, man. That's the one. That's, we've been saying that ever since the bottom. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we, we took a firm stance on that. So I know some people have completely given up on hexagons because of their, their combativeness. But I mean, we've won. Yeah. They call us the longest running grift for a reason. <laughs> it's never going to go away. Now, Richard talked shit about rap Bitcoin. Just because of the admin fees, but you know it's fucking better anyway because he's the one who tweeted about it in the first place. But in that moment, he could have also talked shit about P dying. He didn't. Everybody knows what that means. Yep, yep. Exactly. 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 Hey, Zach. Hey, we some fucking people. In this if anybody's interested in the meth token, this is the uh, this is the Twitter for it. Um, it's not okay. the same. It's not the same guy that was on the the s'mores account. Maybe. I mean, I've I've been watching you do it. I just I, I never bought it for some stupid reason. It's it's <laughs> honest. It's honestly super anyway. cool. I've been earning like two three dollars of um, post wrapped Ethereum every day. So when you put that in perspective, if post does a hundred x from now, you're essentially making like two three hundred dollars a day. Um, and then I'm taking those rewards and actually putting them in LP. So I have the Anoxia token, which is a Kaimato Atropa rewards token. Um, and I, I'll take the rewards from the Anoxia with the Atropa, and I'll pair it with the meth rewards of the Rapteeth, and I'll put it in an LP. So I'm earning this money, then putting it in LP to then earn more money. So it's a, it's a very good passive income 
especially if you think about like five, ten years of doing that. I mean, Jesus. Far ahead of the curve, bro. For some reason, I'm hearing they that they HSA is behind the meth lab. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that ha Come on, man. <laughs> that is just a paid actor running, uh, running the Twitter account because I don't like to run Twitter accounts. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the community is so fucking tight knit. I love it. <laughs> this is the meth talking name, just a developer. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny when you hear the Indian dudes on here. It's like, whoa, should we trust this guy? I don't, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. But that's also the ticker, I mean, the ticker is literally meth, bro. It's like, that's the me most memeable crackhead, stay up all night and trade <laughs> ticker. Like, <laughs> yeah, so, well, on this one, on uh, the rewards and the contract, it won't send anything to LPs. Uh, for the most part, if the if the LP is you know whitelisted, if it's not, it, it'll send it. So it'll essentially burn it, and you have to hold the token for at least six blocks. So, uh, like on A one A, if you're an ARB bot, you're actually getting your reflections in your in your transactions. But here, the ARB bots are not getting any of it. If you get bored, look at any of the transactions on uh, Math 2. Like, each one pays out about 50 wallets per, and uh, the R bots are spending like 2,000 on gas. It's pretty funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got and, it, and there's also, like, one Meth sitting in a whole bunch of dead contracts. So, essentially, like I say, you do, like, a 10-year time frame. It's where, like, that one Meth could actually burn so much wrapped Ethereum that that wrapped Ethereum is at a, is at a premium to Pulse. And you'll see a weird, you know, you'll see some weird shit happen. And you'll see some Richard Hart flex too. Whenever Pulse Chain goes up 100x or whatever, he's going to screenshot the wrapped Ethereum and he's going to say Ethereum did 100x on Pulse Chain and all the ETH bros slept on it. It's going to be fucking awesome. Slapped. And we're begging them to come join us. They're still sleeping. Even though we do got that altcoin Gordon guy trying to... Like fucking engage firm everyone constantly now. I think we actually heard his feelings last week. Just keep it up, man. We're 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 a force to be reckoned with. We have to like bring oh, yeah. in people we're, one at a time. We don't go we don't go anywhere, bro. This is uh I mean look in the room right now, bro. Do you think we're all gonna get away from each other, bro? We're all we're all pretty tight knit, good good people, bro. It's like and we're nerds. Like we're, we we talk about the nerd things with each other. You think I could talk about Maria in four one four in real life? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god, I've tried and just failed miserably. Honestly, the best Honestly, the best like entrance into yeah. Maria I found is just like showing people P die, right? And it's kind of like that's kind of how I've started it with most people that I've tried to you know bring into this whole ecosystem. Is I start with P die, I'm like, okay, you know, look at this die, and then look at this die, right? They're like two different, two that same die but different, right? Different prices. And I'm like, this one, you know, is a dollar. Obviously, should be a dollar from Ethereum. And this one started at zero, and we hope it gets to a dollar, right? So it's like this big speculation, right? This big, uh, how many X's can you get? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it really opens people's eyes. They're like, wow, like, this seems like, uh, you know, it could happen, right? So it's like with, with very little information, you know, they... they they may be susceptible to it, right? And then I kind of go down the line. Okay, well, this is paired with this, right? Atropa, it's got this like $10 million in liquidity burned and blah, blah, blah. And then once you say that, you know, you give them that $10 million liquidity burned and all these things that Maria's doing, then it's like, okay, maybe I should pay a bit more attention to this. And then you kind of got them hooked. Yeah, as soon as I as soon as I start, like my boss called me this morning because he saw PDI go up 30, 40 percent. And I told him a couple months ago, I said, bro, PDI goes to a dollar. <laughs> and he was just like, uh, OK, you know, and move on, move on. So he just called me this morning. It was like he was like, so should we like throw everything into it? <laughs> I was like, bro. Was like, if it goes to a dollar, then you might as well get like 10, 20 million of them. Right. And I'm just like, you know, I was like, I think we should wow. buy a trophy. I told him to buy a trope. I said, fuck that, man. I was like, this is, uh, like, if you really want, like, the, just to get into an asset where, you, like, you don't want to know anything about shit, just get the main asset and steer clear. When people start investing back like that, start investing money into crypto, and they, they start telling 
get people like themselves to get into the same fucking things. So that's, yeah, that's how the like, snowball like, effect occurs. Yeah. You know? yeah, that's how you catalyze into a bowl. For real. Uh, he's already a uh, damn pulse whale, bro. So he, uh, I manage money for him, but it's 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 more about. I think he might bring in fresh capital, like fresh money, because he 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 likes to sit on his pulse. Like he he doesn't want to degen it at all, <laughs> which is which is frustrating. But I get it. Um, so, yeah, no, really, that's so, the, that's the same way my brother is. My brother has been holding on to his yeah. pulse chain for dear freaking life. You guys, like, he's got over, like, <laughs> he's got over like a hundred k in pulse chain, and I'm trying to give him these little plays. I'm like, throw like a thousand bucks here, throw five hundred yeah. bucks here, like, and he's like, no, like he will not budge. And I mean, that's more budge. like, like <laughs> kudos to kudos to him, I guess. But I, I mean, I, I gave him some fucking solid yeah. plays. He could have made a lot more money, but you know, whatever. Asked. Yeah. You know, I mean, we put that across to the masses for sure. It's the Pulse Chain hexing community is solid and resolve. Man, I used to be a hexing, bro. The... <laughs> Me too. Back, back in the day, <laughs> dude, I, I, I was dude, <laughs> aping in at three cents every paycheck, telling everybody, like, man, this is it, dog. This is the bottom, man. <laughs> Know, Rip! Just, Everyone's looking at me now at work. Like, what's up, bro? How, how how's your crypto doing? I'm like, I'm doing straight. Sorry that hex is wrecked, but hey. I mean, you killed it ever since that shit happened to you. Like, I've I've been listening on all Shane voice chat and and fucking bag builders and fucking all those groups. I've always been listening. Like, yeah, you've been grinding this whole time. Like, nobody can deny that. Yeah, bro. I, I, one of my buddies is actually in the chat right now, and he uh he tossed two hundred dollars, bro. That's the thing, like with, what you're saying with your brother is like, this dude tossed two hundred dollars and made thirty six thousand dollars in like twenty four hours. It's like, bro, that's insane to take two hundred dollars and make a, a a yearly paid like salary, like. <laughs> Yeah, she's, that's post chain, baby. Just straight, just straight in bullshit. That's insane. What am I no, doing? No, 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 no. It, it was, it yet. was catching a meme token last night. But still, the point is, like, you could took a hundred dollars and make fifteen k, right? Like, what is a hundred dollars if you really lost it for a pulse? You know, it's like it's it. A lot of times, it's worth that gamble. Like, you're not going into a casino where you do, you know, you could just pull the lever and lose. Like, you can actually view communities, view a Telegram group, view the blockchain, see if they burned LP, see if there's you know hype, pump. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that you can control when you quote unquote gamble. That's right. There's a lot of shit. People don't follow it; they get complacent. We've seen we've seen a lot of people just fucking flop right out, man. Like, like fucking Hollywood. He doesn't even like come around no more because he lost all of his shit just on shit pulling, dude. Like, dude, that guy's awesome. insane. That Hollywood dude. Oh my god, I got a bad <laughs> I got bad experiences with that guy. <laughs> I bet it was late. Oh, it's because of your time zone. That's probably, you probably caught him but at the end of the day. I mean, he would say some wild shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> good though. So I just realized that I was I was supposed to buy more NBA than I did, unfortunately, because <laughs> I just realized I'm sitting on a, a couple of the no nukes tokens that I was supposed to swap over. But actually, I'm kind of glad that I held the no nukes because that did well too. <laughs> I was just gonna say though, I just I just looked at uh looked at my wallet and I definitely two x on the uh. The, the NBA play. Um, uh, yeah, bro. Hope it goes back to a thousand. Chart looks funny. Yeah, I mean that's out of the six 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 tokens. That's probably one of the better choices, I would say, because they have like a decent community behind them already. Um, yeah. They've been around. And it's a ticker. You can you know what it is. It's not. Yeah, it's NBA TM, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's another part of that quote unquote beef with the Tang Gang, right? Is that they had made an NBA token, and apparently Four and Four made one right afterwards, or something like something of the nature, or whatever. And uh, it was like started. the same same day, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny to me. That means that yo, no, no, no that that actually no, that actually because <laughs> the person that actually created the account, he used the logo of a person that was 
inside. Like he's trying to be. He was trying to be funny, and it was you know she she was like you know like yo what the fuck <laughs> like you because you see the logo he has now that logo was first and then it got switched to a bunny like what was that that was unnecessary lol i don't know bro it, it's annoying too it's like they thought like they want to shit talk 414 because somebody some other person made them mad like what <laughs> that has nothing to do with that i got a question though is this uh, do y'all like only talk about 414 or like everything on post to like where where the farms at like where uh where, new farms is, coming up every, y'all, y'all see in post dude there's there's kaimato farms out there <laughs> kaimato is that on post chain oh man what yeah, no, I'm yeah. about post chain. um kaimato yeah, is uh yeah, it's post chain. It's this kymatology is the study of wave motion. So it's so it's essentially like a four on four style developer that, that saw what a four on four was doing real early and, and uh you, you just gotta go check out the farms. I'll, I don't know, find out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Send, send it to me, but um th- th- that's still t- back tied to four one four. I'm saying some uh, it's not tied to No, they're not it's not tied to four one four, it's like they're just pairing oh. things up in liquidity like four one four does. And it's a farm. It's a farm, but there's also like a there's also like this aspect of of they like the atropa flower and everything like that. They've they've got a lot of chemicals that belong in the plants and like as their ticker names and stuff. It, it's real intricate. You actually have to go and research the token names and figure out what the hell everything is. Just kind of like the four and four, but their tokens make sense. They all have like a this synergy where they all work together. Um, and then he's got like a whole section ecosystem of Anunnaki gods. So like it kind of shows who this developer is, where whereas like they saw it, and they also have burned LP with A one A, so they interacted with Sunny real early and uh, burned LP, and you can ask, you can actually stake your P. I'm sorry. Damn, bro, you got rugged as soon as you said you can stake. I your- know it. Yeah. <laughs> P. Well, I that. Not the move. Oh, I had somebody call me. I, I, I'm gonna say real quick. You can stake your PDI and earn Kaimato. Um, definitely, definitely, uh, something to do. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I don't know. But I can't give up my PDI. I got my PDI locked in a, I'm in te- a safe. I'm telling you, bro. You better stake it in Kaimato. I, I, I look. I understand why you wouldn't, but I've been earning some nice money. Like I, I've let a million PDI sit in there for like three, four months. I've earned like four or five hundred dollars. So it's. And then be able to compound that into PDI and then Jeez. redo it, you know, restate. And how's the incentive token? What, what, what you, what's it called? Kaimato. K- how you spell K-Y-M-A-T-O. it? K-Y-M-A-T-O. Holy shit. Right, they, someone created a Telegram group off that. I remember I bought yeah. it, obviously, it's Sunny. Or, um, early on, I bought like, I have a big bag of that. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't get involved in the Telegram group, even though I did join it. I just I fucking lost track of it. Mm-hmm. It was way too much. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that right now just because you reminded me. So, yeah. Uh, it's What's definitely... the website? Because I don't I can't find it. I'm sorry. It, it's it's app dot kaimato dot x y z. So it's k y m a t o dot x y z. Um. So you've got just a just a quick breakdown. So you got Hyo I think that's how you spell it. H y s c. That's that's one of the incentive tokens. So there's a split incentive token feature on it, where you have that incentive token, and then you have a Caduceus incentive token. Um, so you have a, a split, a split single-sided staking section where you can earn one of them, and then you have a split um, farm section where you can earn them. And you have the Kaimato token, uh, and you can stake PDI to earn the Kaimato. Um, and there's like a hex kind of vibe to it as well. Um, they they they're real big on three six nine and 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 you know like just the whole secret geometry and and all that good stuff. Um, then they've got an Inoxia token, which is the snake emoji. If you ever seen that on deck screener, um, and that's a that's an Atropa rewards token. So it actually pays out in Atropa. Um, they've got they they got some pretty good farms in here. Um, the APRs obviously dropped pretty hard. They were like thousands, but you still have like nine hundred APR. 500 APR. I mean, and how long have this been out? A month, two months. I don't know. It's really slept on. Kaimato has been a slept on project because Go Post won't list. <laughs> they won't list their logo for some reason. I don't know what they. They, they say we need at least 100k LP, but that's. Has such, this been audited? 
Um, I'm not sure, bro. They they have um, they've got a a white paper. Um, Yo, what the hell? And they've well, got a lot of burn, a month? burn LPs. Oh, probably like two and this months. is V one or V two? Oh, never mind. It's, it's, it's V two. Um, yeah, they started coming out slowly with everything, right? And so you can single side stake Teddy Bear in here as well. But the thing with that is that you have to single sided stake their incentive token of the same dollar amount that you would your teddy bear. So say you wanted to stake ten thousand dollars of teddy bear, you'd have to buy ten thousand dollars of caduceus, stake that as a deposit fee. There's a lot of burns. There's a lot of interesting things that they're like if you look at the contract, like what all the tokens do and where they go. So if you buy Anu, which is one of the Naki tokens, it actually takes a little fee and it goes, you know, elsewhere and it, Inter intricate process um like i said a slept on project I wouldn't be telling y'all if it was if it was popping and it was all time high but it's definitely something that's no one talks about i mean no these are What's these there? are yield farms these are something that's supposed to be long term these are supposed exactly. to be that you're supposed to sit back uh you know either learn how to compound or you know what i'm saying let's say if a new play comes about um that you want to get into you could just take your rewards from here and then go there go you know, keep keep your initial there. It's generating, it's printing, and then you just come back and co recompound it, and you also take profit along the way. Mm -hmm. But the what you print out, um, if this chart stays stable like how it looks, um, that's interesting. Um, so there's three different tokens that's printing for three different things. Um, basically. Oh, three different tokens. So I mean, you have you have. You have okay. the Hisokami, Hisokamine, Kadukas, yeah. and then Kaimoda. Well, see, those two are the incentive tokens, right? So, so HYSC is the incentive token on that side. So, to all those farms, you get paid off in the HYSC. Um, and then on the other side, the Caduceus side, all those farms, you get paid off in Caduceus. So, same thing with the single-sided staking. Um, there's two, the, the two sections for that. So uh, it, it relieves sell pressure on the incentive token. Because if you had one hyperinflation incentive token, it would just go, it would die. It would look like BBC. Um, but this one is actually pretty smart. I'm actually going to adopt this feature to my camp, campfire uh, farms because it's just, it's smart. It makes a lot of sense. And the fact that they have a token, a little a wallet check or two, that's, you don't really see that a lot. I mean, yeah, uh, the TVL is low. I would love to. I mean, their lack of docs is is con a little concerning. Um, I mean, but, but <laughs> the four on four is the same thing, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know, but like with a farm, I would definitely with farms when you park in something, when you park in some assets, like you, you really buying something and you're holding it in your wallet, that's your risk, right? But when you're taking that asset and putting it somewhere and parking it in another pool or farm, you do not, you don't have control of it. It's in the pool, so. Uh, like you know, that's a separate risk. That's a double risk. So, I mean, I, I be personally, um, yeah, it's cool. I I like the idea. I like the APY. I'm over here thinking of getting into the three three percent daily, um, and the, with the it, it looks it looks it looks sweet. I'm in like every farm on post, so I'm just looking through. But I would like to see some docs, and I would like to see some audits though for for sure. I've, for sure, I've said that as well. It's where I, w I would love to see an IRC type of chat where this dev comes out, so we can kind of understand where their mind is or what what you know. There there's a good there's a good side to where we don't know where who the dev is, right? But then there's also like the we want to know who the dev is. <laughs> so it's, I get it, bro. Um, I mean, no, forget the dev. As long as we can get the 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 audited master chef and uh, you know, well, yeah, I guess so. the printer. I mean, can't right. can't somebody pay to audit it? Um, yeah, if they need everything. Is it verified on? Let me see. You're asking the wrong person, brother. I'm just degening out here, dog. I use a uh, I use hardware wallets, so I'm you know, <laughs> somewhat safe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, if yeah, you yeah. uh, listen, using a hardware wallet. And using the hardware wallet to do transactions does not save you. Um, using yeah, the hardware yeah. wallet, it's supposed to be like a safe, right? Like you're not supposed to do tr a lot of trans. I like you know, going in and transacting with things unless you really trust them, right? Unless you really mm -hmm. trust it. But like you can use software wallets to degen, so you don't have to risk yourself of losing all of your asset. You could just lose just you're, whatever in that other wallet. You're right, you're right, man. Like you want to you want to be using passphrases and, and creating new wallets and, and always doing that so you're protected and stuff. Dude, I cycle yeah, digital wallets can, every three months, two months. Smart.
Yeah. Yeah, you can send That's stuff to like account one, even though Papa Boner doesn't want you to do that. You can send you the account <laughs> Papa one. Papa Boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to detent, use account one. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been taking my PDI, staking it, and then, uh, like, taking profits, like, from other things and buying more PDI and staking it. And then the Kamado that I get from there coming out and single-sided staking that. And then the incentive token that I, that I earn from that, then I go back and buy PDI again. And da -da -da -da. It's a nice little, nice little circle, circle of... Uh, Circle of wealth, and it, it allows you to diamond hand your PDI. But like I said, I do understand uh, not wanting to put it in the contract. But you know, no, I just so been holding PDI for too yeah. long. So like, I'm like, I, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm no, just, I don't want to separate yeah. my PDI. <laughs> I feel that. But no, like that, 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 that cycle that you're saying. A lot of people need to pay attention to it. You know that mm -hmm. that that like using using your liquid assets to, you know figure out how to earn or maximize ROI is uh is very very great That's especially right. when you don't yeah, have you to up on people I, I, like the dev, how the dev, I like how the dev set it up too to where it's like when you click on everything like it all makes sense right it's like you can click on I don't know. It, if I were to develop a website, it would just make like there's a lot of different farms or whatnot that just it's not convenient. Like all the all the ways to try to get to it. Like you click on the the price tag and it immediately goes to deck screen. You click on this and it immediately goes to a pita, so you can go buy it. Like that's the convenience that people need. Good yes, the the site is a little just spun up, like on some uh, static uh, like. Yeah, I think Z that's net. The point, have you ever though. seen a Znet? Have you ever heard of Znet? No. Like the old hacker group back in the day, they had their own little bunker. They had their own little city. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, basically this is that's well. what the site. Is like. Huh. Yeah, it, it it was it did. I mean, it looked a little different when it first came out. Like it had a had different graphics behind it and stuff like i said like that's why i want to talk to the dev like have a little chat with the dev because it's just it's just weird i want to know where their mind's at like what what's the what's the whole scope of things because they haven't implemented the anunnaki gods but they made those tokens and there's not really a lot of liquidity for them so i wonder if that was just like them having fun or if they plan on doing something with that one day because they added one of them in here as, a, as a one of the farms the anu An anu token but anu is like the most powerful uh <clears throat> Anunnaki god there was. Just a little history lesson. Hmm. But yeah, that was anyway, well, I love how I showed Kamado heart of the my project, but I'm gonna uh I'm gonna take it out. Dude, they're, the they're talking about they're they're talking about you in the telegram showing it hard. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I try, try to put on. Yeah. No, 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 because right. I asked about farms, dude. Like, I mean, I, I would love to learn, you know, uh, find other farms and opportunities. Because that ink farm right now, just waiting for V2 farming to start. But yes, aside from that, like, you know, uh, I don't like my PLPs just sitting liquid, too. So sure. Mello, Mello, I got a question. Yo. What, uh, I want you to speculate on what new farms will be there in, uh, you know, whenever we see new ones on Pulsex. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the same as you see now, but um, I think he might incorporate some PRC twenties. I hope, I hope maybe he might do he might do the Bitcoin. It, he, I feel like he might do the rap Bitcoin. I don't know. No, that's what that's what he was. Dude, I've been holding rap Bitcoin since six dollars, and I that was since day two, Sheesh. three days. So like, it's like, yo, I'm with it. When he did that farm situation, that was a that was a big play. That was a big play that no, I don't know if, if anybody paid attention to that. Like, everybody just Did you see, did you see the information? Because we found we found one of Richard Hurt's wallet ending in the two eight two two wall, and one of our guys was going through the transactions that he said. Oh, uh, basically, wh whoever had the Maker DAO, he had, would have had to have higher Maker DAO governance, hold ten k wrapped Bitcoin from a couple contracts, and then then the farms started. And then, the, then he sold it all, and and there was like the seven million liquidity at the time, and, and that's when it pumped up. Like that's the time to sell. I don't know if you guys caught that fucking pump up, but bro. I was on my computer at one thirty awesome. in the morning. 
I watched it yeah. run up the 2K and it was like drooling on my because that was like the, my introduction to post chain. I was drooling on. My, I bought it at like 150 <laughs> and I watched it run up and I was like, what the fuck? Me like 20K. Me they're in That's an hilarious. hour. And I fucking, I'm trying to press the sell button, bro. <laughs> hey, that shit was so. It hard. wouldn't go through. This is why you should be so fucking that with you on your hardware wallet. <laughs> Account Dude, one. The hardware wallet fucked yeah. me up, bro. I'm sitting there trying to press the button. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Oh. Yo, that and is instead that of getting is, it at two thousand, uh, I got it convenient. But look, yo, yeah, that that uh, two two eight two two. Um, been following it since day one. Yeah. Yo, that's an AMM oh. bot. That's an AMM bot from yeah. from uh, uh, from what Uniswap from brought in. Dude, that thing has yeah, been yeah. adding liquidity to all these PRC. Yeah. Dude. I've been following it, yeah. right? And ever since, uh, I think that somebody said 10 calls earlier. I was in that guy's uh, check group uh, early on in the early days. And, dude, when I say I was dropping all that gem there, I was like, yo, listen, look. All, follow sure, yeah. that's they're, out, they're that's literally the, every, the everything out. he added liquidity to was just <laughs> pumping. Was just pumping. And I was, like, I was like, damn, he basically was doing what 414 was fucking doing. But I don't, I'm not saying him. I'm just saying that wallet. Like I don't know who it is. You mean the four one four was doing what he was doing? We're, we're pretty sure four one four <laughs> caught on the, that that wall and all these exactly. things. They know what they're doing. Yeah, so they saw they saw the P dice shit early and did did what they did, and then we like then we all saw it. That's why we. Got you know, it. you know the biggest thing too for me is that like whenever I talk to the the bigger the maxis and shit like that, like uh. The, there's a logo for P die. There's not a logo for much, but there's a lo like the man no. decided to tell his dev Bro. to put a logo for it. Yes, and to put the pulse yep. thing around. Like the what? Like that shit's so blatant to dude. me. When I saw that, dude, I was like, hey, Eon, hey, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna play devil's right, advocate. There's a lot of slow people in the world. So some people might come on this chain and be like, "Oh shit, I just swapped into the wrong." thing right so they that's why he put that ring around in my opinion but why even like because he did no, that to no, not I, just I Bitcoin that. and not just ethereum he did that to he, did. he did he did that to all the yeah, other like true. you know chain link as yeah. well so yeah that's what happened that's right. sure. people were losing their shit people were fucking up no people were really like un thing. not yeah it was yeah, guys, it's not it it's not you guys realize there was a lot of new people that came to Pulse Chain. Like I think Pulse Chain was brought in a lot of mm -hmm. new coiners or new mm -hmm. people coming on to like the blockchain in general. Like don't know anything, yeah, start yeah. fresh, yeah, yeah. everything. So that's yeah. a and they yeah. fucked up. So I, I mentioned <laughs> the PDI logo not not because it's like oh why did he do that? No, I mentioned it because it, it's so blatant to me that PDI is a thing. Like he wanted it to be a thing, or else he wouldn't have put a logo. And then he only put a logo. And this it, is what messes me up, though, yeah. is that he put a logo for ApeCoin. Logo. I was like, well, who the fuck, who the fuck owns ApeCoin? Well, <laughs> but yeah, oh, ApeCoin has a logo yeah. on PulseX. A ApeCoin, yeah, dude, the Ape Ethereum Coin. version, the PulseX version. You got Link, the Ethereum like PulseX version. You got Uni. He's Uni right. is on there as well. Then you have it's not Ave. Uni's oh, logo is on there. Uni and Shibs. On Come on, baby. Logo, shit. dude. Logo, shit. dude. And you, you can also match these logos on Rabby. This Richard showed, showed Rabby, and the certain ones like a like Chainlink logo is on Rabby for all shit. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is it a supported token? Come on, Why? baby. Uh, hey, I've been, I've been I've been in their LPs. <laughs> I've been LPing them the Link Link. <laughs> Ape, oh, ape, all that shit, bro. I'm ready, dog. I'm ready. Brilliant, dude. I love you. Dude, I you're love killing it. Oh, you see, that's you just go into a a, a, a branch <laughs> off of a branch off of a fucking branch of a fucking branch. Because that's all we do. Like, <laughs> like when it, it, if this shit goes to a dollar, the amount of boasting that I know that you guys are gonna do is gonna be bro. fucking astronomical. <laughs> like I already know that like Dude, you guys we, are we got the coat folders. Shit, but I hope you can guys can just realize that like if it does go to a dollar and we all get rich, just like you know, let's humble ourselves. Oh yeah. This is like <laughs> no 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 well, no, I, bro, I will be on Twitter. I'll be on Twitter butt naked screaming <laughs> I told you so <laughs> you die. another shit. Yeah, it's insane. Well, I gotta buy more. What am I doing here? 
Hey, that's that's the whole point. We got these spaces, baby. Yep. Nah, though, hey, y'all boys, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, bro. I do gotta go. I gotta smoke a joint, go to sleep, eat a little bit, all that good stuff. So, y'all boys, have a blessed night, man. I'll I'll be in these spaces again soon. Yo, before you go, yeah, um, we'll I was right. gonna say, um, I have this. Uh, you know, I don't know if anybody knows what the MFers are. Um, so I'm doing a collection called MF Duckers. Um, they're basically a pun on uh, MF first, and they actually face the left, face to the left. So they're funk styles. Um, so if you guys are any like interested or anything, it's uh, any pulse funk holders. You guys get a free mint um, and snapshots done. You have to actually have a pulse funk and 50 billion duck, which is I think about ten dollars right now, or less. Um, but snapshots in 26 hours, you get two uh, MF duckers for free, um, and it's I think 555 of them. For free. Mm. So, yeah, any post funk holders? Post funk holders. Oh, yeah. I've got a post funk. Right I'll funk you up, baby. All right, good night. Funk you up. Hey, right, thanks for joining, man. See you. Hell yeah, guys. This is going pretty well. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock. If you guys. Yo, are Zach. It's, it's been a minute first. since you had a space, dude. How long? How many times do you do this? Like twice a week, bro. All the time, <laughs> bro. I keep all the time. Yep, yeah. Yep. Uh, so usually, the, like, you know, the right, the right. Hobble Nomics and I will get will get into one usually, and then I'll probably do like one of my own throughout the week. Um, I got I got requested by a few different communities, you know, to to do one. So I thought that you know we'd get one together where people could just come and chill and just talk about all the different types of right. plays that are going on. Yeah, that was us. Or so just you know, we've been talking too much in inner circles and fighting with HOA for no reason. <laughs> it's just stupid. I went I went into HOA the other day. Like we just like bridge the gap. We just got instantly banned. Like, come on, <laughs> come on, man. That's all right. Man. Not everybody can make it. I guess you know if, if we get rich off P die, <laughs> right. they're just gonna be sad and we'll be happy. So. How about oh, we all God, just get rich off of Pulse Chain? Where yeah, we really that's right, dude. That's all I got. <laughs> that's that's that what we all got. Like, oh, I mean, we got we need Pulse Chain to even transact. So hopefully they still have their Pulse Chain because it looks like a lot of those guys are going to Chia. <laughs> the nah, actual Chia is coming here. Uh, that data layer, that data been... layers, uh, technology that could be implemented anywhere and. Uh, Dude, that technology is just not it's around the corner. Dude, I think it's 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 just like more people, more builders need to imp be implemented. But right now, no one's trying to build here because we don't have the infrastructure yet. So if you guys do find like node yeah. providers or do people know that no that want to run nodes, not validators, but nodes like endpoints, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, let them let them know that you know we we have the throughputs, we have the volume, we have the builders no. for us to. We need the requests. Hey, Mello. You're, right, You're totally right. It's a great message. Mello, is Duck your project? No, Duck is not my project, but MF Duckers Ooh. is, I guess. Just okay, word, word. MF Duckers. Do you have the art for that already? Post, post that. Yeah. Post it. Oh, word. Okay, I was curious. I actually know a guy who has a, a collection on, uh, I think he works on Elrond, but he, he hasn't. He literally makes NFT collections of ducks, and he's pretty successful. Ooh. Yeah, people really like <laughs> him a lot. I don't know, like I, I might need to put you in touch with him. Uh, I, I, I don't know. You can check it. It's like dude, custom stuff. I would like, love to like, do like some it. ducks inscriptions inscribed. So like, I'm trying to do an yes, inscription sir. collection right now. So like, I mean, it doesn't have mm -hmm. to be ducks, but like, we could do like some type of thing. Uh, and with inscriptions, so like any artists that like or that you know that deal with that, I'm trying to let them know that inscriptions is better if they want to, you know, figure it out or if they don't. They can do yeah, it. I think he'd be great to bring over to Pulse Chain and get his people yeah. over. Um, I need to chat with him. I haven't chat with him in a while, but he it, they're great NFTs too. Like he he'll make like I don't know like a Duck Vader and a Yo Duck. And, he got he got uh, a Discord. Yeah, yeah, he does. Let me see if I can find it and post some stuff here that he does. I don't know if he's still doing it. I haven't seen him in a while, but like people loved his art. Like he was just really good. It was kind of comic book style, but it was it was dope. And also, 
kind of talking about plays and stuff, like, honestly, I've been thinking, so, so, like, what is the scoop on Maker, P Maker, right? Because let's think about that vote that had to happen. And, like, you know, and P Maker never had a logo, which is, which is interesting. But the vote that had to take place, I mean, somebody had to have big enough bags to initiate the vote, which is crazy. It's also had a fat amount of liquidity since the very beginning of the chain. So, like, if you think about it, that kind of indicates that, like, the OA or somebody like Richard, you know, Richard Hart himself is the one who's doing that. It could be a group of people who are initiating that. So, anyways, Nine Iron thinks that, like, maybe during that vote that they made the maker, the Atropa contract take over. Who knows? Um, but it's just yes. kind of interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting kind of thought and like nobody's been talking about maker. Like I haven't heard anybody talking about P maker and it's like, got so uh, the, like uh, all the, the PRCs. It's got fat liquidity. What's up though. That make the just the maker down governance, the way they, they changed the P die contract, they pulled fucking rap Bitcoin out of fucking different contracts. So there's certain on chain transactions that you just can't deny. And you can't just say that it was the AMF bot. I'm I'm willing to bet that all that rap Bitcoin was was Richard Hart's. I bet you he has a bunch of yeah. Maker or whatever in there because that was that was his. So he might have just withdrawn it and then added that to the pools. I mean, who, who knows? Um, but that's but also that payment, interesting. Like that transfer. Yeah, the transfer of that seven seven figures. You know, where we think that it was just them paying them to do it. Right? You don't see that anywhere else in any piece. Yeah. Which so like, weird. we're watching, obviously. We're still, and it, you know, a lot of like everyone's focused on this shit, and obviously, why not? But like, and we started this mission, we've been watching this stuff for a while, right? Like, when's the next payment gonna happen? When's the next contract alteration gonna happen? How, who was even watching? 